um, kind of going through my journey. I'm not going to show no scars, no pictures or anything like that mm -hmm. because that, that will only kind of give you a bad picture. But <clears throat> I'm going to start right here. In, in April, March, April, yeah. Uh, in March, no, in March, I went and did a well man's. And so what happened was at that point, my PCP had told me that my, from the year before, she was concerned because my PSA levels had went up uh, about two points from the year before, and that concerned her. So she wanted me to go in and do, uh, get another opinion, do a biopsy, get my prostate checked, right? Of course, I was a little skeptical. I was like, ah, oh, there's no worries, no problems, but then, you know, family, wife said, no, nah, you need to go get it checked. So I said, okay, let me go get this checked. I had some other stuff going on before that, you know, not, not like that, but just me wanting to do some other stuff with my, uh, with my help. And so in the midst of that, I went ahead and got it checked. Uh, I went to the Y factor, got it checked. They did uh, a biopsy on the, did 12 panels uh, on my prostate. And so five of those panels came back as positive for carcinoma. Uh, if you don't know, carcinoma is uh, commonly called cancer. So uh, kind of bewildered, you know, just kind of deer and headlights look. But I knew that, you know, prostate cancer was treatable. I just didn't know what stage I was in. So once they did the test on it and they called me in, they said that I was stage two, which uh, was a favorable stage, uh, being that I caught it early and everything was fine. And so he told me then, he said, <clears throat> there's no need. Well, not, not the Y factor, they just told me. So once I found out from the Y factor that, uh, I did have uh, carcinoma in the prostate. Uh, I had to go do, you know, imaging, body imaging, CAT scans, and to make sure that, you know, there was no more uh, evidence anywhere else in my body. And so they did a scan and I had to do other stuff before uh, I went into MD Anderson. So I went to MD Anderson which is one of the leading uh, cancer hospitals in the nation. So I went to MD Anderson, set an appointment. Once I got all of that done, um, went in, met the team. Uh, they gave me an option. Uh, the first one was radiation. The second one was uh, radiation seeds, where they put seeds into your prostate and they attack those particular C, uh, uh, area where the carcinoma is. And the second one was, of course, uh, surgery, where they removed the prostate, which was a 99% um, chance that they remove all of the, all of the carcinoma. Uh, with radiation, I think it was a 98, 97.5% chance that they get all of the carcinoma without damaging any other organs or uh, damaging any other nerves surrounding the prostate. So that was the first um, meeting I had with the doctors. You know, they give you options. And of course, um, they all told me, you know, the stage you're in, you don't have to drop everything and immediately do something because I was in stage two. But they said, do not wait longer than a year to 18 months to take care of it and make a decision. So for me, I'm like, okay, I got this. I want to be able to, you know, go on with my life. Uh, this whole year has been kind of 
uh, a challenge for me and my family, for my family especially, because um, they had to kind of, they, well, they had to surround me. My friends also surround me. But at that point, that's the reason why you have uh, good relationships with people you work with, with people you go to church with, with your cousins, with your wife, with your in-laws. That's why it's so important that those type of things, those type of relationships are valued, not only in a time like this, but in times before this, so that, you know, God already puts in their heart to step in and help you. And so I was very fortunate to have a, a village like that.